Once upon a time, wicked demons cast their terrible shadows upon the world. These creatures, armed with terrifying magical powers, hunted humans relentlessly. They feasted on their prey without mercy, leaving the humans feeling helpless and hopeless. But one fateful day, when humanity's heartache had reached its peak, a group of five individuals stepped forward. Known as the Five Aspects, they each wielded the incredible power of an element, fire, water, earth, metal, and wood. Through their fierce determination and sheer bravery, they united to turn the tide in favor of the humans. Their elemental powers harmonized into a storm of energy. Fire roared like an untamed beast, water surged like a furious ocean, earth trembled with unyielding force, metal gleamed with a razor-sharp edge, and wood stood tall, resilient against the onslaught of the demons. Together, they pushed back the demonic forces and cornered them at the peak of a towering mountain. With the demons trapped and the battle nearing its end, the five aspects created the Great Seal, a powerful barrier designed to imprison the most fearsome demons. To ensure the lesser demons could not escape, they made a magical pillar at each exit of the mountain, leaving the demons powerless to leave their mountain prison. The heroic actions of the five aspects restored balance and order to the world, allowing humans to break free from the chains of fear and live in harmony. However, years later, in the shadow of the once troubled mountain, Three mysterious individuals, Xuan, Lin, and Xu, gathered to break the Great Seal. As they succeeded, a dangerous demon Killin burst forth from the seal, unleashing his fearsome power. Without hesitation, Xuan launched a barrage of fireballs at the demon. He darted around Killin, closing in for a powerful strike. However, Killin proved to be a formidable foe, effortlessly blocking Xuan's attack and retaliating with swift counterattacks that left Xuan struggling to defend himself. In the midst of the frenzied battle, a small demon slipped past Xuan and his friends, unnoticed as it escaped the Great Seal. Killen's powerful strike sent Xuan hurtling backward, but he quickly regained his footing, calling upon his extraordinary ability, the Fire Phoenix Bursts. As Xuan's head became enveloped in a blaze of fire, he charged toward the demons, wielding ropes of flame like a fierce, avenging spirit. But just as the battle intensified, a barrage of ice shards filled the air, conjured by the water aspect. Accompanied by the earth, wood, and metal aspects, the water aspect scolded Xuan for breaking the sacred seal. Together, the aspects took up arms against Killen, driving the demon back towards the great seal. But in a cunning move, Killen seized Lin and Yuan Shin, taking them hostage. With a sinister smirk, Killen declared he would only return the captives if his son was brought back to him. In a remote mountain village, a group of influential men known as the Brothers governed the community. Among them, a spirited and vibrant young girl named Zio and lived with her father, Bai, who was the third brother. Zio and often ventured into the mountain's lush forests to gather herbs for her father's apothecary. One day, as Zio and excitedly returned with a new bundle of herbs, she collided with her father, causing the medicine gallipot in his hands to shatter into pieces. Disappointed, Bai Yi decided to teach her a lesson. He instructed her to visit Jang the drunk, his supplier who resided on the far side of the mountain, to fetch a new batch of gallipots. Bai Yi cautioned his daughter, urging her to return before nightfall, as the forests grew treacherous after dark. As she trekked through the forest, Zio and unexpectedly stumbled upon three mysterious, cloaked men. Their presence sent a shiver down her spine, and in her panic, she lost her footing on the steep slope. Tumbling down the incline, she finally came to a sudden halt as her back collided with a massive stone pillar. There, engraved on the ancient stone, were the words, Sacred Shrouded Mountain. Realizing she was lost, Zio and scanned her surroundings for a familiar landmark. That's when she spotted Xuan, standing by the edge of a lake. As she shared her concerns about the approaching dusk, Xuan kindly offered to guide her along a shortcut and ensure her safe return to the village. As they journeyed together, Xuan shared the story of the sacred shrouded mountain and its connection to the Great Seal. Xiaowen, however, dismissed the tale as mere folklore. Upon reaching Zhang the drunk's abode, Xiaowen successfully obtained the gallipots and, with Xuan's help, headed back towards the village. Meanwhile, in the village, the third brother, Bai Yi, received a letter from the eldest brother. He requested another batch of a rare medicine called Panacea, even though he had just received a supply a few days prior. Intrigued, Bai Yi dispatched the sixth and seventh brothers to deliver the medicinal concoction. Suddenly, the village's main gate bells began to toll, drawing the attention of the brothers. They rushed to the scene, only to be met by a chilling sight. The three hooded men, ominously positioned on the bridge leading to the village entrance. The sixth brother fearlessly stepped forward to confront the hooded figures, brandishing a dagger in each hand. One of the mysterious men drew a sword and clashed blades with the sixth brother in a fierce battle. 
Despite his best efforts, the hooded man managed to break through the sixth brother's defenses, cutting his shoulder before pushing him back towards the gate. With a swift kick, the hooded man sent the knives flying toward the sixth brother, with one embedding into his chest. In the nick of time, the fifth brother intervened, armed with a polearm, and blocked the second knife. He skillfully gained the upper hand against the hooded man, driving him back to the far end of the bridge. The other two hooded figures charged forward, each hurling a dagger at the fifth brother. He managed to strike down the daggers mid-air but failed to anticipate their follow-up attack, which left his sides slashed by their swords. Undeterred, the fifth brother continued his assault. However, to his shock, the polearm failed to penetrate the attacker. Seizing the moment, the seventh brother fired explosive arrows at the hooded men. One found its mark, while another was deflected and sent hurtling back towards the brothers near the gate. It was at this chaotic moment that Xuan and Xiaowen arrived on the scene. Xuan's body erupted in flames as he leaped into action, single-handedly incinerating two of the hooded men with his fiery wrath. The third hooded man cast off his disguise, revealing himself to be a peacock demon. Undaunted, Xuan ignited his hands in a blazing inferno, ready to take on the demon. They charged at each other, with Xuan relentlessly hurling fire at the demon. The demon conjured a wall of water from the river beneath the bridge, then used it to forcefully push Xuan back, shattering the bridge in the process. Unfazed, Xuan sprang back to his feet and continued his fierce battle. He seized one of the demon's wings and blasted the creature across to the other side. Summoning a shield of fire, Xuan struck the demon even harder. Realizing he was outmatched, the demon attempted to flee by taking to the skies. Meanwhile, back in the village, the locals panicked at the sight of their injured leaders. Yu Ling, one of the village doctors, rushed to their aid, tending to the grievous wounds of the brothers. Seizing the moment, the third brother addressed the gathered villagers. He urged the militiamen to arm themselves and called on everyone to unite in the face of this grave threat. The peacock demon materialized behind him, casting a terrifying shadow that sent shivers through the crowd. However, Xuan appeared right on the demon's heels, grabbing him and pinning him down by the neck. Struggling but immobilized, the demon exhaled a gust of icy breath toward the villagers. With his magical powers, Xuan managed to block the frosty onslaught. But while he was still shielding the villagers, the demon took advantage and slashed one of Xuan's arms and legs, rendering half his limbs useless. The demon taunted Xuan, questioning if defending the humans was worth the effort, considering their past misdeeds. Xuan countered that while he couldn't control the humans' mistakes, the demon's indiscriminate slaughter was a sin that demanded retribution. In response, the demon spread its hypnotic plumage, revealing the villagers' hidden sinister natures. All who looked upon the feathers transformed into demonic, zombie-like versions of themselves, their inner rage exposed as they screamed in despair. The peacock demon absorbed the hatred and sorrow from these tormented beings, reducing them to nothing but dust. Empowered by their negative energy, the demon transformed into a beast of wrath, an angelic figure with white wings and black eyes. The remaining villagers, overcome with pain and loss, mourned their loved ones. An elderly woman fell to her knees, sobbing and declaring the calamity an act of revenge. The beast approached her and inquired about the whereabouts of those he sought. Trembling, she pointed towards the distant apothecary. The beast headed straight for the apothecary. Xuan, determined to stop him, donned a mask and gave chase. Meanwhile, Xiaowen comforted the elderly woman in her final moments. The woman warned Xiaowen not to trust anyone in the village, including her own father, as the demon's actions were driven by vengeance. The sixth brother, now a tormented demon, desperately begged for some panacea. Without the mysterious substance to calm his cravings, he lashed out at the villagers in a frenzy. No longer recognizing his own son, he attacked the young boy, but Yu Lin intervened, grabbing the boy and trying to escape. However, the sixth brother used his claws to pin Yu Lin down. As Yu Lin's younger brother, Yu Dan, watched the violence unfold, fear initially paralyzed him. But seeing his brother in such pain, he mustered his courage, grabbed a stick from the ground, and tried to break the demon's arm. The stick snapped instead. Enraged, the demon used his other arm to impale both Yu Dan and his son, prompting Yu Lin to cry out in agony. This horrific act shocked the sixth brother back to his senses, but it was too late. Overwhelmed by guilt for killing his own son, he begged Yu Lin to end his life before he could lose control again. With a heavy heart, Yu Lin picked up the same broken stick and drove it through the sixth brother's heart. The young doctor, Yu Lin, found himself alone, comforting his dying younger brother in his final moments as he succumbed to his grievous wounds. Elsewhere, Xuan was hot on the Beast of Wrath's trail, doing everything in his power to prevent him from reaching the apothecary. The beast used his feathered wings to strike at Xuan, 
but his efforts were fruitless. In a desperate move, the beast combined all his feathers to form a blade, intending to defeat Shuen once and for all. However, the fire aspect managed to counter the attack with a fiery dome, burning through the feathered weapon. Finally, Shuen delivered a lethal blow to the beast's heart. With his powers depleted, the beast reverted to his original form as a peacock. Shuen questioned the peacock demon about how he turned humans into demons. The demon revealed that the answer could be found in the apothecary. Upon entering, Shuen discovered the horrifying truth. In the center of the third brother's office, the Killen's child demon was imprisoned in a cage, bound in chains and slowly bleeding out. The brothers were using the child demon's blood to create the panacea. Filled with resentment towards the villagers, just like the peacock demon, Shuen took the suffering child with him and disappeared into the depths of the forest. In the aftermath of the devastating attack that claimed more than half the village's lives, the survivors scrambled to give their deceased a proper send-off and recover from their losses. Questions arose about disposing of the dead demon's body, as careless handling might unleash its cursed energy and bring further destruction to the village. However, the elder and second brothers stepped in and resolved the issue. The elder brother absorbed the peacock demon's energy, causing its body to vanish. Zio tended to her injured father. Upon learning of the sixth brother's death, he was overwhelmed with grief and confessed the truth to Zio. Three years prior, a devastating plague had struck the village, afflicting more than half the population, including Zio, who suffered memory loss as a result. The villagers desperately searched for a cure, but no medicine worked. One fateful day, a killing young demon happened to pass by the village and accidentally dropped a scale in one of the wells, and the villagers who drank the water experienced complete recovery. The young Killen demon had been pursued and captured to collect more of its scales, which were used to create panacea, the miraculous medicine. However, the medicine also amplifies demonic powers in those who became addicted to it. During this time, the eldest and second brother enter the chambers and learn that Xuan, the fire aspect, took the child demon away. As they consider how to reclaim the demon, Zio offers to persuade Xuan to return it. Meanwhile, within the Great Seal, the Beast of Insanity receives news of the Beast of Wrath's downfall from the bird. Furious over his death and the imprisonment of the demons in this cursed place, the Beast of Insanity rouses the other demons, preparing them for an assault. Filled with renewed determination, she shatters the Great Seal from within and dispatches three demons to retrieve the sacred child beast. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.